Voice of America's English to Africa service is celebrating its 60th anniversary and former VOA employees are extending their warmest wishes. Let's hear from Jody Kapwa, a former radio managing editor, and Paul Sisko, a senior TV producer. Hi, this is Joe DiCapua, former managing editor of Africa News Tonight in the English to Africa service of the VOA. Retired since 2017. I had a great time at uh, the Voice of America, made a lot of good friends, uh, some of whom are still there. And I just want to wish all of you a happy anniversary and many, many more. We did a lot of stories. I want to commend all the people I work with. I think on average, each of us did about 300 stories a year, every year, and that was pretty good. When you multiply that by about four or five of us, that's a lot of stories we covered for the African continent. I was lucky enough to be on the HIV AIDS assignment, covered that for more than two decades. I think we did a lot of good. And back in 2011 with the Ebola epidemic in West Africa, people in West Africa told us that the stories done by English to Africa help save lives. So what you do matters, remember that. Anyway, have fun when you work. If it's not fun, it's not always worth it. So do it with pride, fun, and have a long career. My name is Paul Sisko. I spent uh, 30 plus years at Voice of America. I worked at ABC before that and elsewhere and have been running around newsrooms and broadcast centers since I was four or five years old. And the last 10 years plus that I was at uh, English to Africa, Voice of America, are far and away the most rewarding years in the business. But at English to Africa, you have an audience that not only wants to hear what you have to say, but wants to participate in, in, in the news events. And it is, uh, I think, one of the most worth, worthwhile things that I have ever done. I worked with David Brinkley. I worked with Ted Koppel on Nightline when it started. I worked with this week with the, at ABC when it started, both with fantastic anchor persons and, and certainly the best in the business. But Shaka Sali, on a par with those guys and really heads above those guys at what he did. And it's largely, again, because there was an audience that wanted to hear what we had to tell them. And I'm not, we're not just talking about you know, letters that get chironed up on the screen. We had individuals in sitting in Africa that wanted to be on the show and that made the show better because they brought so much more to the show. I mean, it's, it's an incredibly unique exchange and I don't see it happening with any other television entity. That was Paul Sisko, a former senior television producer, and Jody Kapwa, a former radio managing editor.